Big Ben's Kelsey Searley and Alexis Spence have signed letters of intent to play softball for Eastern Oregon University. Searley from Graham, Washington, plays center field and is hitting 377 for the Lady Vikings. Spence, out of San Luis Obispo, California, has been Big Ben's ace in the circle the past two seasons. The two are pictured with Vikings assistant coaches Tasha Gentry, Alan Harrison, and head coach Ray Moffitt. Lauren Schwalbach, the ladies' Vikings left fielder, is expected to sign with Eastern Oregon as well this week. The Afraid of Lady Tigers softball swept a home twin bill with Quincy to remain undefeated on the early season. Sarah Dodson tossed five innings of three-hit ball, giving up one earned run in a 12-2 win in game one. Brooks Stutzman had the big stick for the Tigers, going two for three at the plate with a triple and five RBI. Michaela Wood got the start and fanned seven jacks in a 16-6 win in the nightcap. Stutzman came up big at the dish again for Afreda. She pounded out three hits and four at-bats with two triples, four RBI, and four runs scored. The Tigers improved to 6-0 with the sweep and will head to Othello to take on the Huskies after spring break. Bruce Horton scored twice, and the Tigers picked up a 3-2 shootout win on the pitch over Wapato. Horton scored, scored the lone goal of the first half 20 minutes into the contest. Armando Garcia's goal leveled it 1-1 at the 50th minute. Horton's second goal 20 minutes later put the Tigers up 2-1. Cesar Gonzalez tied it 2-all with a minute to go in regulation. Andres Mendoza recorded five saves for Efreda. Rodrigo Campos denied 10 Tiger shots on frame. Gonzaga's basketball season officially came to an end this weekend against Duke. The two teams faced off in an Elite Eight matchup in Houston, Texas. The Zags and Blue Devils went back and forth the first 35 minutes, but Duke took control in the final five. The Zags' Kyle Wiltshire had a chance to tie the game at 53-all with 4.48 remaining, but missed a wide-open layup. Duke then went on a 13-1 run to close it out and win it 66-52. The win denied Gonzaga their first appearance in the Final Four. Kyle Wiltshire finished with a game-high 16 points for the Zags. Duke freshman Justice Winslow led the Devils with 16 points. It's hard not to say Kyle Wilcher's missed open layup was the turning point in the game. Gonzaga head coach Mark Few says the missed layup was just a bad luck basketball play for the Zags. It was a, a shot he makes. I mean, he'd, he'd make that thing, you know, 499 times out of 500. It was just a fluke, and, and uh, there's, no, there's nobody on the team we'd rather have taken it other than him. He's just got such a beautiful touch uh, with the ball around the rim. So, uh, you know, it just, for some reason, didn't, didn't drop. We'll be right back after this.